Hello again dear friends, uh, wish you had a good uh, winter holidays time with family and friends. Finally for me after waiting over one month uh, I got the package from my friends at Banggood. I would like to thank them for this sample. It's a 250 uh, racer quadcopter or FPV racer or whatever it's called these days. Basically it's a 250 class uh, quad. It's the carbon fiber version, so basically it should be everything inside except for the flight controller. Yeah? This one actually was ordered before that, but still didn't make it to me. So anyway, uh, let's see what it's inside. The box is some kind of standard box. I don't know if this is the standard for the quad or it's just a box they had on hand. So uh, let's see what's inside. So on top there are the Emax Simon K firmware series speed controller. They are the 12 amp version, as you can see here. So I read good reviews about this one, good refresh rates, and normally working well with uh, this type of motors. So this is the look. They have really small bullet connectors. I never build such small quads. So normally on the 450 flip FPV that I already have on, on the hexacopter they have it's normally 3.5 mil bullet so I have to see what kind of bullet connector I have to use on this one so these are the speed controllers with instructions I hope they will work well because if for example one of them has issues uh, the lead time will be big but hopefully everything will be right ok let's see what else I have on top so two pair of props so this should be 5030 so 5 inch and 3 degrees prop uh, pitch they are plastic so it's quite soft as you can see but uh, they should take uh, damage in case quite well hopefully let's see how they will perform because they flex a bit ok I yeah, pretty much standard so far uh, Ok, let's see the motors, I have one of them, it's really tiny. Let's see what we have here in the bag. Ok, so each motor has the, the Pro fixation, this type. And it's RCX uh, 1804 and 2400KV. Again, the small, uh, really small wires with uh, small uh, bullet connectors. The fixation point. Yeah, if you look here in the in the coil, it doesn't look so good like on my Sunny Sky motors. It doesn't look so good, but we'll have to see how they perform. The magnet seems pretty strong. Ok, and apart from the motor and the, the prop bolt, there are four, five tiny screws. This is in each package of the, the motor. So let's see, second one, same one, ok. Shouldn't be a different type of motor, just checking. Again, RCX 2400 kV. So far so good, and the last one, number 4, ok, everything is as it should be. Now the only left thing in the box is the quadcopter frame itself. So because I read many things about this, uh, this quad, I can tell you so far that the, the carbon, carbon fiber is really, really tough. So I am quite a tall guy, but it doesn't... I cannot flex it. I have a digital caliper here next to me, so I want to confirm that the thickness is really 3 mm. As you can see now, it's on zero. And let's see. Ah, 2.87, this is what I have. And on the back, 2.81. Let's see the next leg on the motor mounting position 2.94. And on the back, 2.99 so it's quite strange it's a bit of a difference between yeah this is the first one again 
between the, the, the legs, so it means they are made from different sheets of carbon fiber, different thicknesses. Arm number 3, this one is 3.06, and the back again 3.06, no big surprise. And let's see the last one, motor fixation, it's 2.956, and on the back 2.87. It's a bit odd, but whatever. So now let's move to the plates. It's really tiny. Like I said, I never had a 250 class quad, so I'm used just my flip or my bigger hexa. So it look, looks tiny and fragile. I hope it's not fragile. <laughs> it's only tiny. Okay, this one's, let's see the sheets. This one it's 1.46. Again, same. And on the back. 1.4748 the second plate 1.46 same story okay just to get things straight uh, and clarify for those who don't know this is a clone of the popular uh, blackout mini H frame so basically I think it was like that some some Chinese companies that make uh, this kind of RC quads, basically look at what's among the best uh, products out there and, and try to copy it. Some of them with better results, some of them with worse, so you have to see how this one performs. Okay, and now the, the fixation for the, for the Mobius, for the Mobius cam. As you know, it has a front plate with dampers, so you can put also a GoPro Hero, but from my point of view that's too big and bulky for this kind of frame okay now there are the, the set screws I hope they're all here because there are quite a few now with oily which looks good this protects them in time for longer shipping and avoids operation of rust so this is it and the spacers the, the really nice red spacers and the dampers for the, the Mobius plate cam so nothing else here, <laughs> unfortunately the flight controller is not available, I wish I could have that too. So let's put again everything on the table, so we have a better view. So these are the parts, the main parts, and then these are the parts for the modules, together with the plates, many many screws, and then it should be the, the motors. I have then the arms which some of them are thicker some of them are uh, not so thick the landing skids or legs are here they don't flex much so they seem to be pretty snug fit I ordered two more spare legs so if something goes wrong uh, I can replace them and uh, the props are here and the speed controllers are here. So basically, this is the kit I got from Banggood. I think it's called ZM ZMR250 Carbon Fiber. It's not expensive. Uh, just to make things easier for everybody, I will just put uh, hyperlinks with uh, the products I have here on the table. And you can just click it there and uh, get the same product. Uh, of course, uh, after I will... Uh, have the flight controller, I ordered a CC3D then I will make uh, the build uh, review of the quad and of course uh, flight review so until then I wish you all uh, a lot of fun and uh, keep it safe guys thank you bye bye